This flirting with the 30s tonight. Yeah, pretty pretty wild, Riley. It, it is luckily no freezing temps, but I'm imagining our cold spots, places like Bush Field, likely will get down to around 39 degrees by daybreak tomorrow morning. So definitely a chilly start. We have clear skies, calm wind, so a, a good opportunity for us to really zoom in our Beach Island camera tonight. A look over downtown Augusta. A beautiful night out there. Temperatures already down to 48 at Bush Field, so we're less than 10 degrees away from that low temp that we are going with around 39 degrees. So it is going to be a chilly start if you're going to be up early. These temperatures won't last long, though. We're expecting a lot of sunshine heading into tomorrow, so it's going to be a quick warm up. A chilly start right, right around daybreak. Afternoon high temps will be warmer than the last couple of days, though, most likely at least hitting the mid 70s by tomorrow afternoon and generally sunny skies out there. Should be really nice for our Tuesday. Heading into Wednesday, not expecting too much of a difference, just a slightly more mild start Wednesday morning. And then by the afternoon, we are expecting highs a little bit closer to 80. Now, as we get later into our Wednesday evening, right around, uh, say, sunset time. You can see this temperature divide. That's actually going to be a weak cold front passing through, and that could bring us a low rain chance, but looks to be a minimal threat. Not really expecting a ton of rain with it, and it's not really going to bring us a big temperature drop either. You can see our temperatures waking up early Thursday in the 50s, and then those afternoon temps Thursday, most likely back close to 80. High pressure is getting control. That's why we saw a lot of sun today, and that's going to keep us sunny for our Tuesday, but that next incoming front just well off towards our northwest and should be dying off by the time it reaches us. This is a look at one model and its interpretation of what's expected to happen. So this is jumping ahead to Wednesday morning, just waking up to a few clouds out there early Wednesday and just seeing uh, partly cloudy conditions by the afternoon. This is going to be that front just breaking up as it does reach us most likely around sunset. So kind of later into our Wednesday evening and would just likely be showers, not expecting necessarily a huge thunderstorm risk from this. Now here's a two, uh, two different model views of what's expected to happen around that time frame. So the model I just showed you was this one on the left. It's a little bit more bullish on the rain chances. This one here, the IBM graph model, you can see it's generally just showing a few clouds and not really a ton of rain with that front. So even if we see rain like that model on the left there, not going to be a ton to it and some of us actually could stay completely dry. So since we're not necessarily going to see a ton of rain, our pollen meter, that is going to be running very high over the next couple of afternoons, especially as that wind does pick up a little bit heading into our Wednesday. Not much of a wind threat Tuesday, generally between 5 to 10, but for our Wednesday, you can see those will pick up around 10 to 15 later into the afternoon. Seven-day forecast for you looks really nice the next couple of days. Temperatures do start to warm up late into the week. Should be hitting those highs back in the 80s by the weekend. A bill to arm teachers.